Hi, my name is Rini and I am a liver transplant recipient. My life was going well until I took an annual physical and came to find out that my liver had a virus that was destroying it and I was in and out of hospitals. They were doing procedures to keep me alive until an organ could be found. And I was on that list for two years and over the course of that two years, my health deteriorated radically. In the metropolitan areas, about 50% of people die waiting. And I was almost one of those people. And I felt like this is probably how it ends. So I made the next flight to Orlando and went straight to the hospital there, got on their transplant list. And, and while I was in that hospital, a young man was in the hospital also. He had been walking across the street and got hit by a car and he was declared brain dead. This is so difficult for donor families and yet there's something special and unique about donor families that somehow in the most tragic time of their life, they're able to step outside of their own suffering and think of the suffering of strangers and say yes to donation. My doctor told me that when they went out and told the mom that the doctors are all here, would you like to say goodbye to your son? She went in the, in the room and she kissed him on the forehead and she said, Nicholas, this is not gonna end here. You're about to do something beautiful. And he did something beautiful. He saved my life, he saved six other people's lives. He gave two people vision. He gave burn victims some hope with some skin grafts. And um, it's just amazing what one donor can do. And it's amazing that one family can say, yes, I I'm suffering, but I don't want others to keep suffering. The fact that he saved lives is the only light in this dark episode. <laughs> when I first um, was transplanted, I wrote a letter of thanks to the family. I didn't know who I was writing to, but the mom had gotten my letter. But in her first letter she sent to me, she said that she took my letter and she framed it and she put it in Nicholas's room. In the morning when she goes in to open the shades, she sees my letter and prays for my health. Could I get a better donor family? Now it's been 10 years, but over the 10 years I've gotten close to my donor's mom. I've even been to their house in Florida, seen the boy's room. And then she said when she met me, it kind of made it more real to her. It wasn't just somebody out there somewhere got help, oh, that's wonderful, I'm glad. But now is a real person. She met my family members and a real story and it made it even more real. Because he's a donor, Nicholas's story will never stop being told as long as I have breath. What you've been through teaches you that you can handle things. I wanna not just pay it forward, but for all the people that right now, as we speak, are laying in hospital beds waiting for a life-saving organ, I do this for them because I was one of them. My name is Rini. I'm a liver recipient and organ donation saved my life. And you too can register to become a donor at onelegacy.org.